leg press. So I've had up to 800 pounds on that. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. I'm Ricky and this is the home of pretty much anything home gym related. So we do a lot of gym tours, equipment reviews, equipment comparisons, all that type of thing all that type of thing, all those types of things. So if home gyms are your thing, or if you want a home gym, or you just like training or gym equipment in general, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up because it does help out the channel. But today, we're checking out Matthew's home gym. He says it's probably worth around $3,000. He's got about 1,200 invested. He's gotten some used things, uh, he's restored some stuff, some things have been gifts, that type of thing. He's a PE teacher. He does do a lot of DIY stuff, so wood, aluminum, 3D printed things. So I'm gonna put his Instagram down below so you can check it out if you want to learn more. But let's get started. As per usual, I have not seen any of this yet, so I'm gonna be experiencing it with you and I'm excited to see what he has. Hey Garage Gym Gains, I want to kind of show you all my uh, one car garage gym I have, I've been building for, uh, it's probably been at least five, six years to so small little increments over time. There aren't a lot of single car garage gyms out there, so I that's what I have obviously, and I do like to support other single car garage gyms because it's tough, there's not a lot of room, so you gotta be a little creative sometimes. Uh, so let me flip you all around and start showing you all what I got. All right, so let me zoom out so you can see a little better. Uh, so starting on the wall here, we have just a uh, piece of wood for handstand uh, push-ups, handstand work. I have the FB uh, 4000 from Rep Fitness, a... You already know Rep Fitness benches are awesome. If you want to check one out, go through the link down below. It does help out the channel and their benches are fantastic. Easily my best bench or my favorite bench, my most recommended bench and the best budget pick for sure. Phone stand here. Over here, if you go to the wall, I have all my barbells starting from the bottom. We have the Titan Fitness Cambridge Squat Bar. Uh, moving up to the next one, we have the Titan Fitness uh, safety squat bar, another Titan Fitness bar, the um, Cambridge football bar for Titan Fitness. The next one up is the Bells of Steel power bar. It's all Cerakote. Um, I like that bar. It's a lot like um, the same feeling of knurling of like a, a high power bar, but at a much cheaper price. Uh, it's not as consistent as that um, bar with the knurling, but I think it's overall pretty good. Uh, next one going up is the uh, cap uh, boss bar, then a uh, easy curl bar, and then a standard um, plate or standard uh, bar. Uh, moving up. To so right off the bat, let's go back here just a little bit. That selection of bars was honestly a lot better than I anticipated based on the price point. The Titan Cambered Squat, squat Bar, um, I just need to use it more. I have one of those as well. It's a heavy bar. It's like 80 pounds. So it's, it's a little heavier than you might expect. Awesome bar if you're into cambered squats. It's great. It's just probably just as good as the Rogue version, but obviously way cheaper. Their safety squat bar is awesome as well. I don't have any experience with their multi-grip bar, so I can't really speak of that. The Bells of Steel power bar is fantastic. I would say the Knurling is better than the Ohio power bar. Uh, I would say it is probably a little less consistent. However, it's more aggressive. It almost hurts my hands <laughs> when I bench press. Um, that one's pretty good. I haven't used the cap bar or the top two either, but Bells of Steel, awesome power bar, really good bang for your buck if you're looking for one. The Titan bars are good as well. I haven't been able to try out their multi-grip though. Uh, next we have a four inch uh, box from Titan Fitness. Uh, moving up here, we have a kettlebell swing, also Titan Fitness. 
and then a uh, linebacker squat. So I like using that for uh, like hack squat variations and um, along with uh, kind of a simulated uh, trap bar deadlift. So moving. I'm gonna have to check out your Instagram. I hope that you have a video of that because not a clue what that thing is. That one's Going new to around. me. I have some wall control over here. Lots of different attachments, bands. So it's from the bottom, bands. First time I've seen the white wall control unit and that looks pretty clean. Uh, a bunch of Spud Ink uh, belts. I have the Spud Ink adjustable belt here. I have the Spud Ink front squat harness, a Spud Ink at the bottom there is a dip belt, um, different handles, some different chains for belt squatting. Uh, moving up, I have all of my band pegs, hitch pins, um, different attachments on, for doing some row, some pulley work on the uh, rack. Uh, at the top here, I have the splitting lat saw, um, different collars. For my belts, I have the Pioneer Pioneer Cut Belt. Um, I have the Pioneer Fitness uh, PAL lever, so adjustable lever. I love that belt. Still breaking it in. That 13 millimeter is taking a little while, a little longer than I thought it was going to take to break in. First off, Pioneer belts are awesome. That's what I have as well. I need to get on the lever belt game. I've never actually used one before and everybody does, so they've gotta be awesome, I need to get one. But however, I was thinking of this while Matthew was explaining his beautifully designed wall control unit. If some of you don't follow Gluck's Gym, first off, you need to subscribe to him, awesome channel, funny guy. They're both kicking butt. Uh, anyways, he just joined the wall control crew, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it the wall control crew. It would be really funny if all you guys go over to whatever his most recent video is and just comment, why did it take you so long to join the wall control crew or family or wave or movement or whatever it is. Uh, everybody just go bug him about why it took him so long to join the wall control unit. I think that would be a good time. You can tell him that I sent you if you want to, but. I think I'm gonna do that. Hybrid belt for like some strongman work. Uh, if we go back over here, I have a uh, power rack. So some safety spotter arm and power rack. The power rack is the X2 power rack from Titan Fitness. They actually don't make this power rack anymore. It is two by two uh, uprights, but nine gauge steel. So even though it's Fairly small. It's a much. Uh, he has a really good, uh, much higher weight capacity than most two by two racks. It's like three thousand uh, pound weight capacity, and I've retrofitted a couple attachments onto it. So I have a pulley system at the top. That's for a um, T two. I'm sorry, T three rack from Titan Fitness. And then with all of my retrofitted attachments, I have three D printed some different pieces to go on here to make it where it'll fit. Still working on um, that in the CAD shop to get that working. Uh, but this piece was actually the first one that I um, wanted to 3D print. I actually outsourced that to Aperture Engineering and they made that. Um, but it kind of just goes on underneath the J-Cups to help protect the barbell. Um, working on getting a 3D printed piece for my belt as a steel. Um, J-Hooks here, some different rings. I've also been wanting to get different rollers 3D printed for my Titan uh, roller cups because I'd really like to have red, obviously. So if anybody has the hookup on that, let me know. I uh, built the lifting platform here. So I've had that for four years, five years now. Uh, all of odds and ends over here, a bunch of different things in there, some different things to keep the barbell, the barbell maintenance, some 301 oil, some W40, um, lifting shoes, leaf blower, that's like um, essential if you want to actually have your garage open and uh, use that. Actually, I'm in Florida, so it's super hot, so definitely need to have 
the fan, leaf blower to keep it open, keep it a little cooler. So a lot of homemade stuff in here. So some homemade boxes for step ups and some different movements like that. I have an adjustable step here, whiteboard on the wall, Titan Fitness, um, silencer pads. I am at a town home, so that makes it where I can lift heavy and still keep it fairly quiet. Um, and then over here, we have a just cheap stand got, uh, that somebody gave me um, off of Amazon. I actually kind of deconstructed and kind of used it for different things, holding all my adjustable dumbbells, fat grips, uh, some sandbags here. These two bigger ones are from Bells of Steel, so 100 pound bag, 200 pound bag, and then I have a uh, 45 pound bag from Lotus Imperium. Uh, old paint can used as a chalk bowl. I have some more homemade stuff, so made a homemade deadlift jack Man. here. I've had up to 600 pounds on this, and it held fine, so it's still going strong. Different pads, moving on to more of a homemade stuff, homemade weight tree. Um, and then I took the weight horns that were on this rack over here, put them on the front to be able to hold all the one inch plates for the dumbbells. That homemade weight tree is legit. Big thumbs up for that. I really like that. I have a um, four by four beam that I've used as belt squat. I have a weight horn at the top there that I can load it up. And then this piece here is a, um, uh, it is actually a lever um, leg press. So I've had up to 800 pounds on that. Um, it's held on, both of these two pieces are attached to the rack using the band pegs. And there's some different holes where they insert in. And then I drilled out the band pegs, so there's um, some little insert pegs to hold it on in place. Flooring all is uh, horse stall mats and then the wood for the boxes. Um, always growing in the home gym, but I'm gonna back up so y'all can kind of give a view of everything. See what, what everything we have here. And I still have the ability to get a car in here. It doesn't happen very often, but it's still, um, <laughs> still can do that. And most of these things are also have uh, been just gifts. Um, so birthdays, Christmas, this is what do you, if people ask me what I want, it's some barbell, some piece for the gym. And everything in here is probably is total, as far as cost wise, is around um, maybe up to $3,000. I'm probably in the whole gym itself for my own uh, money, uh, around like a thousand to 1,200 to 1,500, somewhere around there. But really enjoy it, get, get in here, get after it. Hope you all enjoy. All right, bye. Man, Matthew, that was pretty legit. As, as per usual, I'm gonna let you know what my favorite thing is, but then drop yours down below in the comments what your favorite part of Matthew's gym was. But first off, thank you for letting us check that out. Like I said, that was very legit. It was much more complete than I was anticipating just based on your description. And some of the DIY stuff that you have is absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna say my favorite part is that DIY weight tree that's huge and it allows all your plates to be able to go, like it's, it's full size. So you can put the 45s up top, middle or the bottom or bumper plates for that matter. It gives you a lot of flexibility and having the little plates on the front, that is very cool. I like that you didn't just leave it the raw wood, but you went ahead and painted it so that it would match everything else in the gym. The runner up might be that leg press. I would just have to see it in action first. So I'm gonna be checking out your Instagram after this so that I can try to catch a video of that thing in action because it sounds pretty legit. I'll link Matthew's Instagram down below, so feel free to check that out. If you enjoyed the video, hit a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of the other content. In a couple days, I'll be dropping a video about a mystery bar from Rogue that I just unboxed, and I'm pretty excited for it. It's gonna have a, a few videos that it'll be featured in down the road, so maybe that'll give you a little bit of a hint. Probably not, though. Might still be pretty vague, uh, but be on the lookout for that. And what else? 
if you have a home gym video or home gym and you want to do a video on it, record it horizontally, upload it to YouTube, send me the link on Instagram or Gmail, garagegymgains at gmail.com. I will reply eventually. Pretty busy with the gym build right now, the commercial gym build, uh, but I will get to everybody eventually and hopefully we can get your channel featured on here.